So hi, I'm Charlotte Fressa, a second year PhD student in computational neuroscience. So many of you have asked how I organize my notion for my PhD, for collecting research ideas, basically everything. I think my whole life is in Notion right now. So they have many templates and I use it personally for to-do list, habit tracking, class notes, teaching, basically my entire life. So today I want to give you a walkthrough through my notion and really show you how I use it, how I optimize for product activity, habits, learning, and also kind of give you an um, insight into how I structure my research projects for my PhD using my notion. I also want to preface this video by saying that even though I may seem quite organized, I'm actually extremely disorganized. My way of thinking is not really linear, but more like a graph structure like. And the thing is that my notion kind of reflects that. So I think my notion is not as aesthetically beautiful as some of the other people out there. But for me, it's extremely extremely functional and it's the first app that is kind of so versatile that it kind of allows me to think in this more creative way, more graph-like structure instead of having to organize everything very neatly. So this video was also kindly sponsored by Notion and if after this video you are inspired to use Notion as well, I put the link down below, which allows you to use Notion for free and hopefully you will love it as much as I do. I also included a template of my personal wiki, so if you want to follow the same kind of structure in your notion as I used to structure my entire life, you can download that template and use it for your notion as well. But let's get straight into my workspace. So let me give you an overview of my notion. So I'm looking down by the way, because I'm looking with you at my notion so I can explain a little bit better. So at my personal wiki, the first thing I usually have is a little quote for that month. So at the moment it is, if a little dreaming is dangerous, the cure for it is not to dream less, but to dream more, to dream all the time by Marcel Proust. And this this is just a really nice thing of Notion. You can kind of feature or customize every part of Notion to suit your style. So you can, for example, change the cover here. You can change these kind of icons. I, of course, put a brain because I'm a neuroscientist. And then the first thing I did is I created these three little headers that are for me my personal values. And under these personal values, I put the things that I think or pages that I think are related to these personal values. And this personal wiki, this template I put down below for if you don't want to create it yourself, you can also just download that one and put your own personal values and your own things in it. So the personal values that I have are wisdom, health slash happiness and creativity. So on the wisdom for me right now, there's my PhD, of course, and learning. And if we look at my PhD, there are many pages because this is almost two years worth. Um, so I'm not going to dive into every page because I think that will take hours and it's not that interesting for you. But I can show you, for example, one topic that I was working on a little while ago was extreme value theory. And you can see here that all the topics that I researched for extreme value theory. So I looked at theoretical extreme value theory, previous work, um, schizophrenia, how it relates to schizophrenia. So I can just click on this and then you see all the research I did on extreme value theory. And this I made from scratch and it's seems like a lot of work but as you are researching and you're slowly filling up your notion page this actually doesn't take that much time and it for me really suits the way i think and the way i research so in these pages there are a lot of backlinks and forward links to other pages and that for me creates almost this kind of graph like network where i can sp select specific notes that i want to dive into into my research so yeah, if we go back to my personal wiki, under wisdom, there's also learning. And this is something that I kind of want to show you guys how I do this, because I think this is a really cool feature of Notion. So you can see under learning, I just put random topics that I usually want to learn a little bit more about. So that can be from programming. So for example, here to program or researching, here to research. And the way I select these topics is usually I do this with a special feature of Notion. And that is, for example, in my... So for example, in my daily life, I'm spend a lot of time on Twitter and I follow a lot of my favorite researchers on Twitter. And what I do when I scroll 
down my Twitter if any of my favorite researchers has uploaded a paper that I, for example, want to read. So for example, maybe this one, it's a paper about information geometry. I don't really know that much about information geometry. So I click on it and the cool thing then with Notion is what you can do is you can add this add-on on Google Chrome. And with this add-on, you can select this page and save this page to any page you want in Notion. So here you have add to, and I add it to my learning page. I click save page that it has saved here. And then for example, it has already automatically saved some of the figures, a little bit of the text. Usually I remove this, but then I have this in my no status and then usually if I'm gonna research this topic a little bit later, I put it into research or reading. And then when I finish the topic, I put it in done. And that way I almost use Notion as my ideas bank or like a second brain where I upload all the information or all the content that I have found on the internet. And this way I've noticed I almost never forget anything interesting that I have found. And it's just a really convenient way to kind of snippet little parts of the internet that you find interesting and put them at a designated space without any extra effort. And another cool thing is it also works for your phone. So you can also do this on your phone. And so if I'm scrolling on my phone on Twitter, for example, I do the same thing. I can share it and put it on my Notion page as well. So that's everything in the wisdom part. Then I have health slash happiness. I have review, that's how I review my days. And Nijmegen Life, Nijmegen is the city I moved to. So I kind of put some little nuggets of things that I want to have in Nijmegen or want to do in Nijmegen. So for example, right now I want to do a little bit more yoga and dance and I put it under yoga and dance. Creativity is also a big part of my life. So for example, I can go to video ideas and these are all the video ideas I ever thought of for this channel. And I do it almost the same way as I do the learning thing, the learning page. So whenever I find an idea across the internet, I bookmark it and I put it in my Notion page. Then if I create the thumbnail or title, I put it here when I'm writing for it, um, filming. So right now these nine videos are ready to film and then published. And for example, I can show you what I'm writing. This is how to optimize memory skills. I usually put little thumbnails that I kind of like from other YouTubers or YouTubers um, or movies. It can be that I put a little quote and then here I will write the script, for example. And that's kind of how I do everything for YouTube. So that's also to give you an insight. I put weekend reading, that's my reading log and Creatorpreneur resources, that's from Ali Abdal, that's a page he created. Follow him as well, by the way, he has amazing Notion resources. Then I have goals, so I make an annual review every year. So I make an annual review every year. So this is the annual review of 2020, 2021 and 2022 is coming. I can maybe one time show you how I do the annual review if you are interested. So put it down in the comments below if you want to see that. I also have an impossible list. I think I got this idea from maybe Thomas Frank, but I'm not entirely sure. And these are just goals that I'm not focusing on at the moment that but that I maybe want to do in the future because I have a lot of goals that I would love to do. For example, my traveling goals. So I want to go to Greece, Meteora, um, Ireland, cycling, Portugal, hiking. And I just kind of put it here to think like, oh, just to remember. I also want to learn Chinese at a certain point and relearn French with Linguda. I'm actually doing that right at the moment. So that's kind of cool. And sometimes I do certain things, for example, OHPM in Scotland, I've done that. Um, an event in Korea, I kind of want to go to a certain learning event to go back to Korea and see some of the people I know there. I also have meditation as one of my goals. I'm not very good at meditation. So if you're really good at meditation, put it down below how you do it um, because I'm still working on it. And then the last section I have is just life. So here are all the pages that don't really fit anywhere else. So these are gifts. That's gifts of friends or family that I think of throughout the year. 
um, trips and outages, so that's uh, travel things that I want to do. Financial diet, this is because um, inflation, so I kind of have to track my expenses. So I downloaded from one of the templates from Notion, I downloaded this expense tracker, and that's that financial diet French that I'm working on. Daily, these are daily little logs, so every day I write down three things that I appreciated of the day, and I usually put it in my Notion. And passive income, this is something I'm thinking about a lot lately to create passive income, not only from YouTube, but I maybe want to at a certain point start a company or do some other things such that I can create a really cool like research community and I'm not um, totally broke by the end of my research uh, journey. So yeah, another thing that I'm really working on lately is this 12 week year. I got it from this YouTuber Montella B, so follow her down below. I'll put a link. I really like her channel and she talks about 12 week year. It's this book that I've also read and the idea of the 12 week year is that you accomplish all your goals in 12 weeks instead of putting it to the end of the year to kind of accomplish it. So I also uh, put the template that I use down below so you can also check it out. It's partly based on the template by Montella B, so also check out her template and see if any one of them uh, suits you. So these 12 weeks I really want to work on wisdom and that's because I just moved to my university city. So the university city I'm living at at the moment has a lot of wisdoms that I think I can tap into. So I usually put a quote for the 12 weeks. So at the moment it is Live the Wonderful Life That Is In You by Oscar Wilde, who is my favorite author probably. So if you want to read a cool book lately, read the book by Oscar Wilde. So what I usually do with the 12 week year is that you think about a goal that you have or three goals that you have for the year. So for me, it was to have a paper published. It's ha to have a thriving website. I want to create a website and grow my YouTube channel, of course. So instead of having these three goals for the year, you kind of think about how could I achieve this if I optimized all my time and resources for the next 12 weeks. So you then set your priorities. So, so for example, for me, priority one is finishing in paper. And then I have these strategies. And then I think about as many strategies as possible to achieve those goals. And afterwards I have this month one, which has a daily tracker where I put daily habits that I would like to do. And if I accomplish those, I would kind of accomplish my 12 week goal. And then I plan for week one, week two, week three with the priorities like this. And I put again the template down below so you don't have to create this yourself. So yeah, this is kind of um, a short overview of what my Notion looks like at the moment. Of course, if you dive into all these pages, there are many templates that I've created and many little nooks and crannies and ideas. But one of the best things with Notion is that it has this search option so I can just search everything. And one other thing that I do kind of want to show you is that one really cool thing that I also like about Notion is that you can also share your pages. So I also work with my students a lot in Notion. So for example, one of my master's students, Quan, we worked, um, I worked with him on a project, a really cool project. I'll put his GitHub down below if you want to check it. And the thing is that for him, I kind of created this page that we could collaborate yeah. on. And that's just also something really nice about Notion that it's just this super nice place that you can literally do anything. You can collaborate, you can plan your life, you can track your habits, you can make your daily affirmations, everything. So every time I think of a new thing that I want to do, for example, if I want to track my exercise regime, I will make a page in Notion to do that. And this way Notion almost becomes like my second brain. I have my first brain, which of course is my real brain to do all the thinking. And then I have Notion, which does all the planning, habit tracking, information gathering, and that's just all in one place, which I really like about it. So Notion is 100% free for students and educators, so you can sign up with the link down below. And I again want to thank Notion for sponsoring this video. And if you have any tips or tricks for me on how you use your Notion, I would love to hear it because I am super interested in Notion and how to, I can upgrade my productivity sphere. And otherwise, see you next week. Bye.